I'm going to show you how to experimentally determine the empirical formula of magnesium oxide using a simple combustion experiment. We'll use a 6 cm strip of magnesium ribbon, a crucible, some heat and a little bit of chemistry to find out exactly how magnesium combines with oxygen. Let's get started by measuring the mass of the empty crucible and lid. As you can see, it weighs exactly 30.834 grams. This is important because we'll need to subtract this from the final mass to figure out how much magnesium oxide we have at the end and how much oxygen reacted with the magnesium. Next, I'm weighing our six centimeter strip of magnesium ribbon. it comes to 0 0.095 grams. We'll be heating this magnesium to react with oxygen and form magnesium oxide. Now we place the magnesium in the crucible and start heating it. Every 20 seconds, I lift the lid slightly to let oxygen in. This is crucial because magnesium needs oxygen from the air to form magnesium oxide. If we didn't lift the lid, there wouldn't be enough oxygen for the magnesium ribbon to completely react. You can actually see the magnesium glowing brightly every time we lift the lid. That's the magnesium reacting with oxygen in real time. Once the magnesium has completely turned into this white powder, magnesium oxide, we allow the crucible to cool down before taking the next measurement. Now that the crucible has cooled, let's check the final mass of the crucible with the magnesium oxide. The combined mass is 30.991 grams. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video or find it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more experiments and tutorials. It really helps the channel grow. Let's heat the crucible again for a couple minutes to make sure all the magnesium has reacted. Then we'll measure the mass again. If it changes, we know we need to keep heating it until the mass stays the same. To find the mass of oxygen that combined with the magnesium, we subtract the initial mass of the crucible and lid, which was 30.834 grams, and the mass of the magnesium ribbon, which was 0 0.095 grams, from the total final mass. This gives us a mass of oxygen equal to 0 0.062 grams. Next, we'll calculate the number of moles of magnesium and oxygen. Using the periodic table, we know the relative atomic mass of magnesium is 24.31 and oxygen is 16. So the number of moles of magnesium is the mass of magnesium divided by its relative atomic mass, 0 0.095 grams divided by 24.31, which equals 0 0.00391 moles. For oxygen, we do the same thing. 0.062 grams divided by 16, which gives us 0.00388 moles. Now we find the simplest whole number ratio between the two. To do that, we divide both values by the smaller number of moles, 0.00388. For oxygen, we get a ratio of exactly one. For magnesium, we get a ratio of 1.01, which we can round to one for a whole number ratio. So the simplest ratio of magnesium to oxygen is 1 to 1, which means the empirical formula of magnesium oxide is MgO. This tells us that in magnesium oxide, magnesium and oxygen atoms combine in a 1 to 1 ratio. And that's how you calculate the empirical formula of magnesium oxide through this experiment. It's a simple yet powerful way to see how chemistry works at a fundamental level.